Welcome to the InfoMullet YouTube channel. If you enjoy this content, please like or share. And if you'd like to support the InfoMullet by becoming a mulleteer, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate your support. Um, Tyler's asking uh, whether certain states, Texas, Arizona, South Carolina, have political or personal will to go back into lockdown now, even though conditions are worse when they first locked down. It seems like the ship has sailed. What does that mean for other states, the country as a whole? So I think we're at the point where coronavirus has become so politicized and so taken into the red and blue meat grinder of rhetoric that at this point to reenter, so we talk about the hammer and the dance. We're technically dancing now, even though we don't have the right dance shoes, clothes, music, skills. Um, <laughs> you know, we're supposed to be out of the hammer. But to go back into the hammer, I think what it's going to take is death. Death is the great neutralizer. It cuts through a lot of rhetoric. You know, you talk about you can't message an externality. Um, and right now, you can message COVID because up to this point, it has been regionally disparate. The impacts are not as well thread. I could have large communities that have no deaths in them, and they don't understand that just down the road is another community that has a lot of deaths in them. To see states go back into lockdown at this point, I think, is going to require a massive spike in deaths in those states where they recognize it. Texas is not going to rely upon, and Kevin is the resident Texan, may tell us differently, but Texas is no longer going to rely upon what's happening in Florida or Washington state. They're going to look at Texas. If Texas has a severe outbreak, though, and lots of Texans are dying, they're not going to care what the other states are going to do. They're going to do to themselves what they think needs to be done. And this is the kind of crisis-like nature that death tends to cut through a lot of rhetoric. And until those death rates increase, I don't think you'll see the political will return. Chris KP, good to see you, KP, asks, how much of a risk is there of refusing to lock down if there are deaths within the state, but primarily within marginalized community? I think I mean, if you think about it, after the protest, there is no longer a rhetorical argument to lock down. There's, there's none. You just had a 500,000 to a million people, largely in states that have social distancing, all ignore them. So to some extent, the people ignoring the lockdowns because they wanted to get hair salons, you know, you can say that's not a valid and the protesting is more valid. But the reality is, I think, in the rhetorical space we are, there's no... Um, good argument right now that's going to convince people absent deaths in their own neighborhoods. And it's given you talked about marginalized communities, given how segregated we often are. I mean, even a lot of the deaths in Massachusetts were clustered in Chelsea City or Chelsea. Chelsea is a largely immigrant neighborhood. It is not interacting. It's interacting with other parts of the city by way of worker transfers, you know, going to work in places. But people who live in other neighborhoods, even two miles away may not feel that impact because it's not their community. So I think the segregation of communities means that there's not going to be a lot of this. Um, unfortunately, we tend not to have a lot of concern for one another anymore, which is unfortunate, but seems to be the reality. So I think it's going to have to take local, uh, what I call third degree deaths. First, you think about your seven degrees of separation. Your first degree is someone in my family dies or a close friend. Uh, or excuse me, someone in my family's died. Your second degree is a close friend to me dies. A third degree is a important person to a close friend dies such that the pain of the friend transfers to me. Um, and I'm not saying friend on Facebook or social media. I mean, real friend, someone you know that by way. If those deaths are not incurring in that three degree network, I don't think they're going to have the impact of we need to go on lockdown. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow the InfoMullet, visit us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you'd like notifications when we post new video content, click on the red subscribe button below the video. If you've ever wanted to become a mulleteer and support the InfoMullet, visit us on Patreon. We appreciate the support.